Most likely Sheik versus Samus. Ruben, one of the top players in the region currently. He's, uh, he's taken names off quite a few people, and he also performs very well in the state. So, uh... And Ollie, an old player. Previous, when I joined the scene, Ollie was the number one on the power ranking. And uh, he's kind of a legend, a bit of an old school legend. So we'll see if this old school knowledge, and presumably good matchup knowledge, can hold him in good stead against uh, Ruben's new school, Samus. And joining me on the mic right now, the one and only, the legend, Anthony Musket Musket. How are you doing, you Anthony? You, you didn't use my middle name. No, I, my, my middle musket, name is... Musket in... in uh, no, I know, I know, I know, but you could have, you know, put no, the... No, it is your middle name. For it the is my purpose of, For the purpose of... You can't, you can't use the middle name because you have to put I the guess, air quotes I between guess. the first you know, and the last name. Fine, fair enough, fair enough. Um, last time these guys played, it was actually quite close. Um, this was at the old, I think, Cyber Gamer? Cyber Gamer. Cyber Gamer, That's so. interesting because I actually think uh, Ollie and Ruben both identify as Cyber Gamers. So. Cyber Gamer, ooh. <laughs> I mean, you know. Yeah. Ollie's he's got, he's got a pretty classy look right now. He's oh yeah, got that. Yeah, but when when you when he logs on, you know, when he logs onto the the World Wide Web, he's a I'm, cyber game. Old, just oh, like dude, I'm. I can't wait till the day when you know it's uncovered that um, Ollie's actually a super you know super hard rager online. This is this is this is being this is all just this is all just one show. And when he when he's at home in the safety and comfort of his own house, he can let the beast beast unleash. I think you're right. Um, I. I I would like to see Angry Ellie just one time. Oh, right like there. anyone who's seen that Simpsons episode, that old Simpsons episode where um, Flanders snaps and rages at the um, residents of Springfield, something yeah. like that would. No, but it's every night for Ellie. All the pent up rage All the pen oh, from yeah. the whole day, and he goes home and just logs on to Counter Strike and just well, shoots play. people in the head and rages. What if he's playing Netplay under you know some random tag, some Smurf account? Just he, he's he's he is that. That player raging at newer players for spamming against Matt. Yeah, he's actually spud. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, getting on to this, they went to... Okay, so I mean, FD. They both both characters lose Ooh, a decent what a nair. That was but a big nair. Ooh, ooh is that going to be it? Up air? Freeze the jump. I don't know whether he had to. Is that he, confirmed up air? Yeah, I think so. I'm pretty sure it's... Um, confirmed that percent. Dope. Well, that's a dope oh, and the... you got to crash cancel that, Ruben. Ruben's been a little bit, a little bit shaky. Yeah. Over the past few tournaments, I'd say. Oh. I agree with you. Because oh, he yeah. had a he had a run of uh, a fearsome run, you know, a run a where he struck fear into all of the non-Samus players in the country and the Samus players, to be honest. Yeah. Everyone was thinking, how can I deal with this character? Ruben's just gonna crash cancel, he's gonna shield. He's gonna down smash me, and it'll be over. But it looks like the run of Ruben, the age of Ruben, has come to a close lately. And uh, well, I mean, you know, we'll see. Whether people are starting to figure out what's happening. That's what okay. I'm trying to say. Hopefully, hopefully, you know, maybe, maybe, we'll see. I mean, not hopefully. I don't have any horse in this race. For all I care, Ruben wins every tournament for the rest of the time. But no, man, I don't want to play Sam. Oh, really? I. I don't like playing the match. I don't like having to switch to between. Look, I um, promised Kai we would have unbiased commentary, right? So okay, well, you know, <laughs> you kind of failed that in game one. Because if it. people want to tune into like unprofessional commentary, they've got the mango. They can tune in on, on Twitch. <laughs> All the drunken top players. Drunk, yeah. Really. Oh, dude, Vish lost here. Dude, right now. Right. I mean, I was watching Slime like two hours ago, and he was he was a lot less professional than you and I. I'll tell you that much. Damn. Well, you know. To see we can at least maintain a certain level of quality. Yeah, exactly. That's that's why they pay us the big bucks. Oh man. Speaking of big bucks, Ollie is uh, some. I don't know how to transition that. He's 15% <laughs> and a grab away from the stock. That, it, and, uh, yeah. And he's gotten that 15%. And he. Yeah. You know, sometimes you run in. You try to run in shield, but you don't. Shield doesn't come out. You get hit by the charge shot. Yeah. I hate that. It's it's a bad feel. Yeah. It's a big mood. <laughs> oh, that's another big move from uh, from Ollie there, taking that stock, and then he's just... Okay, well, he whiffs the grab, because Ruben was still intangible or invincible, but still had enough time to get another grab out, so... That's the thing about Sheik, she got such fast moves. You whiff a grab, and then 30 frames later, boom, grab again. Sam does not have that luxury. No. <laughs> but she has a down smash. Exactly. Green. 
and Crash Cancel, as you didn't know, Musk, is very strong against Sheik in this matchup. Really? No, yeah, a mean, lot of Sheik's moves can be Crash Cancel, which is, uh, yeah. And Samus is notorious for being a, a good Crash Canceler. She sure is. Ooh, Ollie is playing very careful. He doesn't want to give Ruben anything. Because that, you know, that's the thing with Samus. Samus has tilts your shield, and if you're not, like, super on point, she can get a spot dodge out before to the arm grab or whatever, and then you whiff the grab and you get down smash. And you feel, you feel bad. You're like, this fool f tilted my shield, but yeah, he's getting cool. the punish anyway. Exactly. I agree. But right, then we, it's you that is the fool if you get, get, get punished. You know? Yeah, you know. It's like the room, you know. I Now I am the fool. Exactly. Who's really the fool? Yeah, yeah. And but, uh, it's, um, it's not Oli that game, I'll tell you that much. No. Oli is not the fool, because he just went up 1-0 in the set. And we got but a he's going back. Oh. We got the Rue Fox. His Fox is really good. His Really? Yeah, yeah I, I think it's his, um, his best secondary. Better than Falcon? Yep. By a uh, pretty decent stretch. I don't know about the Falcon, so I guess, I guess the Fox, you know. It's a good call. I, I, mean, see, I see the Falcon all the time, I never see it win. So. Well, it's because, you know, he usually only comes out when he's sandbag. Right. And. Duh. Just think about, like, this is that, like, Ruben could just be patient near the legend, like, outside of um, Sheik's short hop fair range, and then just punish all his um, ledge options because he can't comp consistently ledge dash properly, so... Yeah, also, yeah. like, in this matchup especially, I think it's such a good pick against Ollie as a player, because Ollie's a bit old school, doesn't practice necessarily as much as the new school players, and, like, specifically Sheik against Fox on the Sheik side, you need to execute your punishes. You know, every single punish you need to be, like, if it's a grab, you need to get the tech chase, the whole thing. There's not really any, any like, good combos from grab without getting a tech chase, so... You know what they say about old school Sheiks? They love to dash tech. They love it. They love, they... So if you just sort of dash dance outside dash tech range and, um, like, the downside between dashing back is that eventually they can take Oof. space, but they're not going to take space. They're not going to consistently take space enough to the point where you're near the ledge. Like, before that happens, they're going to commit to a move. Yeah, I mean, FD, for that reason, is good for Fox as well, because uh, it's a big old stage. And like, Sheik, it's really hard as Sheik to uh, place moves in a safe way on FD. Like, she can really abuse platforms and like vertical kind of mobility on platform stages to make her moves really safe and like non-committal. But uh, because her short hop is so big on FD, if she commits to an aerial, she's in the air for a very long time. Yeah, definitely. But Fox is just gonna abuse that by not letting her do any safe, you know, jumps. Because jumping is generally bad in the matchup. Ruben's been catching him out with these up tilts throughout this uh, oh, throughout this game, I guess. Um, right, like he's been stuffing out um, all these, say, short hop fares approaches with just a really well placed up tilt and just getting it up there confirmed. He's been efficiently closing out stocks and that's what you need to do. You, you, can't, need to do. you, you don't want to be getting that Sheik stock at 140 from a back air, like some raw back air. Ruben should have just kept up, tilt, up, uh, up tilting before when he had three in a row. It was yeah. the best thing to do to another one, but he didn't want to be lame. That's my read. He was like, I can't just keep up tilting. That'd be lame. You can't, you can't, you can't, he's, he's not a lame player. You might not notice it when he plays Samus, but he's actually a very swag human, so. And that, oh, what have I done? Alright, there we go. But now we're going to see, uh, when, are we going to see the Holly Fox? Okay, he's going, he's going. Okay. I mean, I think Sheik's definitely a good pick for Ollie. Like, especially someone who has, isn't consistently playing. Like, I would have liked to see the Fox. Oh, that's the first time he's going to take a place without getting shine. Damn, this is yeah. breaking ground. It is, it's very important. Because otherwise, Ruby can just take a place shine, and every time you get a grab, you get punished. It feels bad, you know? And Ollie hasn't gone for any up smashes. Oh, that's big, though. That's, that's the best of three. Best. He's got four stocks left. He can't be afford to throw one of them to it. He can't afford to be throwing one of them okay. away. Well, we should be able to clean this up. Ollie not ASDing down. Or like the um to get the tech. Yep. He's got the classic old school bad DI. Yeah, yeah. Oh that's Oh, ambiguous. That's dope. Yeah, he's doing 
he's been enjoying these um, short hop, or I guess ledge hop fairs from ledge. Yeah. Um, the thing about attacking from the ledge is it can be good, but um, you have a very discreet range that you can uh, threaten from the ledge with aerials. So if the other player just stands outside of that range, you look like a dummy. That can be tempting, you know? Well, if it works at least, you know, once or twice, it's, yeah. it's easy just to get into that um, autopilot mindset of I'm on the ledge, I'm just gonna ledge off there. When you get shiny, you die at 20. Yeah, which is bad. Yeah, he doesn't want to be dying at 20. For those no. in the chat, it's yeah. bad. Oh. oh! What a recovery. What a swag man. Wispy the homie. Okay, good D on the dash track. Yeah. I wonder whether he could have gotten another dash attack off of that dash attack. I feel like he could have. Maybe? Okay. Who knows? I'm just, I'm just saying words. That was right. Oh, that's unfortunate. He... There we go. Oh, swag. I mean, you know. It's... How is he? He's never DI'd out of these up tilts. I like, all of these up tilt chains, he's just like temp up tilting and he's never got the DI out of it. You know, you said yourself, old school DI. Yeah, but I mean, sometimes an old dog has got to learn a new trick, you know what I'm saying? I think I'll just learn some new tricks. Yeah, please don't shut up. Sometimes an old dog has to learn all of the new okay, tricks. Okay, so let's, let's just. Slag. Oh, that could have been it, that was a kill. Oh, yeah. You get a shine, you get an up smash. Interesting choice to grab there. I like the idea because he couldn't really have gotten anything other than a forward tilt, but um, Ruben capitalizes and kills him for it. Well, what do we have next? Oh, I'm gonna play Catherine at some point, I think. That's that's gonna. What, be are, my, what are my buttons here? 